to a beautiful Sunday afternoon for the finale of this three-game series. It's number 22 Mississippi State and Ole Miss from Swayze Field in Oxford. What's at stake today? Well, Ole Miss is trying to get their first series win against Mississippi State since 2015. Bulldogs trying to make it eight in a row against the in-state rival. And the Rebels turn to Mason Nichols, the junior from Jackson, Mississippi, making his second career start after 55 relief appearances to begin his career. Yeah, gave him, gave Ole Miss a chance last Sunday against Arkansas, and certainly that's what Mike Bianco is going to look for today, for him to build from last week. That fastball, the low 90s, the sliders, a really good pitch for Nichols. Lazy has really unique stance. He is way off the plate. Most college guys a lot closer to home plate, and he kind of almost walks his way into the plate. He lifts this ball to left field, and that ball is gone, and Ole Miss takes a 2-0 lead on the 10th home run of the year for Ethan Leger. He talked about how well he has been swinging the bat. So I have a good start here for Sunday for Leger. Yeah, I, I think that it appears that has worked well. Hill's played good at second. Randall certainly has held his own at short, and he's going to get a sack fly right here. Fly ball out into center field, caught by Hyzak. His throw comes back towards second base. Smithwick tags up and scores, and Ole Miss leads 3 to nothing. This ball lifted out into the left center gap. That's well hit by Hunter Hines. It one hops the wall. Mershon coming to third. He'll come around to score. Mississippi State is on the board. That is an RBI double for Hunter Hines, his 34th run driven in this season. Ground ball to the right side, fielded by Larry. He gets Ross, but a run comes home to score, and it's now 4-1. to one. Ole Miss gets the run back that Mississippi State got. This ball hit high in the air, left field, chance going back, and it's gone. That's the second home run of the game for Ethan Leger in the third of the weekend, a solo shot, and Ole Miss leads 5-1. to one. Well, The first home run of the day, Leger did not need any wind help. This one, the wind did help. This is just a fly ball that he gets up, gets enough carry, and Rebels add to that lead up 5-1. to one. Line drive off the bat into Fisher out into right field. Hill comes around to score. The throw comes to the plate. Cross slams on the brakes at third base. It's an RBI single and a three-hit day for Andrew Fisher. Rebels batting in the bottom of the sixth inning, and this ball is lined out into left field. A base hit the opposite way for Will Furness. Groff comes home to score, who is 0 for 3. Does have an RBI. Goes after the first pitch, lifts it out into center field. Hyzak going back, makes the catch in the warning track, but that's a sacrifice fly for Jackson Ross. Full count pitch, runners go. It's down and away, and a run comes in for Mississippi State on a bases loaded walk. Kohler picks up his 15th RBI of the year. And this ball's hammered to left. That ball goes all the way into the corner. Bird scores easily. Randall comes around to score. Luke Hill going to try to come to the plate. He'll do so without a throw. A three-run double for Ethan Groff. Furness hits the ball in the air to left field. Chance on the run. Chance watches it fly over his head. It's a walk-off. Three-run home run for Will Furness. And Ole Miss takes a series against Mississippi State for the first time since 2015. Right now, the Rebels celebrate a series win over their in-state rival, Mississippi State. For Keith Kessinger and our entire SEC Network crew, I'm Richard Cross. Thanks for being with us. Sol Miss wins it 14-2 and takes the series over the Bulldogs.